I've had people hit me up and say, I purchased a silver piece and uh, it looked great when I got it, but a day later, two days later, all of a sudden it was like black. But if you have a piece that tarnishes, I recommend doing what we're gonna look at today. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Very excited to be here today. Got a great video in store for you. I think you guys are gonna really appreciate it. I get questions a lot about silver and how to clean it and you know, is it worth buying because it's gonna tarnish and is it real jewelry and all that stuff. If you're interested in silver in general, I recommend checking out the interview that we actually just did with Luke Zion. Very privileged to have that guy on the channel. He's always sending stuff to our channel to check out and review for you guys so you guys can learn more about what silver is, what it will look like on you, and all this stuff. Check out that interview if you want to get to know Dennis. Check out his website. Check out his Instagram. Today, we're actually going to be looking at a chain that is directly from Luke Zion. This is nothing spectacular uh, looking, and the reason why is because it's tarnished. I purposely tarnished it. In fact, it kind of looks like the gold ring <laughs> that I have on my finger here, right? So if you don't want to spend the money on gold, just let your silver tarnish up. But in all seriousness, I get asked all the time, is it worth buying silver and does it tarnish and all this stuff? Well, while Luke Zion has plenty of videos on his channel in regards to that that might be able to help you, I want to help you guys too. So when it comes to silver, it does tarnish. As you can see, it will tarnish, but it doesn't tarnish on me. Now, we had a little conversation, me and Dennis, uh, during that interview, and we discussed that it might have something to do with my body chemistry. Now, he's going to be doing an in-depth video on that soon, he mentioned. So I'm not doing an in-depth video on that. I'm just letting you know. It might have to do with your body chemistry. I've had people hit me up and say, I purchased a silver piece and uh, it looked great when I got it. But a day later, two days later, all of a sudden it was like black. That's never happened to me. In fact, I had to go out of my way to get this piece to tarnish. I had to go out of my way. Now, I what the, what I did in order to get it really tarnished up was I put lotion on it, and that thing just turned like yellow in a matter of a matter of a couple of days. I had this thing look messed up. This, in fact, these are these are chains that are not tarnished around my neck. Um, they, they, they're gorgeous. They're silver. But if you have a piece that tarnishes. I recommend doing what we're going to look at today. I'm going to take you guys over to the kitchen. I'm going to show you guys how I would clean this piece. I have no idea if what I'm going to do is going to actually clean this piece up the way it should be, but I have a feeling it's going to look a lot better by the time we're done, and it's not going to take a long time. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gents, so we're at the kitchen. I'm going to try to get you the best <laughs> angles possible, but that might be a little bit difficult to do. I have a bowl of baking soda right here, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to turn on the warm water, and I'm going to let that water get hot, pour that hot water into the, you know, let me fix the camera. All right, there we go. I think that's a little bit better. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going ahead and letting that hot water run. Once it gets hot, I'm going to pour it into this bowl that has the baking soda in it. I'm going to drop that chain right in there, okay? Now, normally you might, if you really have a tarnished piece, I would let this sit in there for a while, but if it's not heavily, heavily tarnished, just throw it on in there and then grab some dry baking soda, which I should have had out already, and just pour it, pour it on the top, okay? We're going to be using the dry baking soda as a little bit of a um, an abrasive, okay? So... You're gonna take that chain and you're gonna rub it with your fingers. I'm pretty sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Grab a little more baking soda, throw it right on there, rub it with your fingers, rub it with your fingers. All right. And just keep rubbing it. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna damage anything. You don't have to worry about anything. Silver is very resilient. Keep in mind, your chain's probably not gonna be as tarnished as mine was. So I'm going to have to put a little bit extra effort into this, more than what you guys would probably have to do, because I really went out of my way to get this thing to tarnish and cover this thing in lotion, and, and you know, normally you wouldn't be doing that. So regardless, though, I don't think we're going to have to spend too much time working on this. Take a little bit more, just rub it. Now imagine, you could just do this in the shower. Take some soap or take some baking soda. I, I like using baking soda. You could try soap. I like the baking soda because it's a little more abrasive. Get some of that tarnish off, that heavy tarnish that you probably won't have. But that just shows you 
how easy it is to clean silver. If I have heavy tarnish on mine like this, imagine how easy it will be to you because I can already see on here it's coming out great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that hot water again. I'm gonna dunk that chain into that hot water. I'm gonna rinse off that baking soda. Rinse it off real good. Get all that baking soda off. Baking soda has like a slick, when it's wet, it has kind of like a slick slickness to it. So once your chain starts to feel not slick, when you rub it through your fingers, that's, that's how you can know when it's all off. And get it off my hands too. And I mentioned in that interview, this is actually very therapeutic to me. I enjoy this stuff. Maintenance, most people don't like maintenance, but I don't see this as maintenance personally. I kind of feel as though this is just therapeutic and, and nice. I mean, granted, I don't have to do it a lot because like I said, my silver really doesn't tarnish, um, which is, a lot of you guys out there might be thinking I'm lying to you, but it's the truth. It doesn't tarnish on me. And, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that after I wear it, I wash it. And then, you know, every time I wear it, I wash it. So, and, and apparently from what Dennis and I spoke about, I might have a body chemistry that allows for me to wear silver a little bit better than other people. All right, so check that, check that out. We'll get you some up close shots after, but look at it. It already looks almost perfect. It's unbelievable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry off. I don't want this to be wet before I polish it. Normally when I, when I dry my stuff, I'm taking it and putting it in front of a fan and letting the air dry it because I don't want to use an abrasive cloth. You could use a microfiber towel. I don't know, I just like the idea of letting it air dry. But in this instance, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just taking a towel and I'm just running this straight through. Now, we're about to polish this chain up. If you don't know how to polish a chain up, you can check out the video I did on polishing up gold and silver. It's the same principle for the most part. You're just gonna polish this up when you're done cleaning it. But I'm gonna tell you right now that you can you can probably see it looks like a completely different chain. I really hope you guys can tell. Camera always makes things look different, but before it looked yellow like this ring. It does not look like that ring anymore. It does not look like that ring. Check that out, it is bright and shiny. I don't even really have to polish this, but I'm gonna do it anyway just for good measure. And if you don't let your silver get this way in the first place, you will not have to polish it. You'll just clean it every day when you're done using it, when you're taking a shower. It's super easy, super simple. You just clean it. And when you clean it, it washes off all, all, all everything that might have tarnished. It washes it right off and it stays clean unless your body chemistry is different than mine or different than some people's. Everybody's is different and so it's gonna act differently. Let's start with this light, the light side of this cl polishing cloth. We're gonna polish this thing up, we're gonna buff it out, and uh, it's gonna look phenomenal by the time we're done. Now we're gonna move, check that out, that came off of the chain, okay? Now we're gonna move to the darker side of the cloth from light to dark, at least with this particular polishing cloth that I'm using. You can go ahead and check the link in the description if you wanna purchase the same exact one that I purchased from Amazon, okay? Run that through, run that through. All right, let's get this thing into some better light so you can see it. This now is the end result. Compare that to the beginning. Check this out. It is brand new, practically. Super white, super, super white. Very, very shiny. And just for good measure, I'm just gonna run this through one more time. There's really no need for me to run this through the polishing cloth again. I don't know, I'm doing it and it's therapeutic. It's relaxing, it's very nice. And you know, I'm not I'm not overdoing it. You don't wanna overdo it too much guys because keep in mind when you polish something, you're actually taking material off. Now with silver, you're gonna have to use a polishing cloth at some point in time. Don't lose sleep over it. I've had people hit me up and say, I'm afraid to polish my stuff. Uh, you know, because I don't want to lose material off of my expensive purchase, whether it's gold or silver, because at some point you're going to have to polish gold too. Gold is a little bit of a harder metal, so you're going to have to polish it less when it comes to scratches. Gold rarely tarnishes, but hey, listen, keep in mind, it can tarnish. It can. Uh, so it's more, much more rare, but it can actually tarnish. A lot of people don't know that. This is the end result.
it is absolutely beautiful. Now, this video, I don't know how long this video is going to come out to be. This took less than 10 minutes. If I wasn't talking on a camera, setting the camera up and all that stuff, this would have taken about less than five minutes to do. All I did was dunk it in some baking soda, rub it down with my fingers, dry it off with a towel, and then put the polishing cloth on it. That's it. Check out that interview with Luke Zion, really fantastic. And if you're interested in another fantastic interview that we do with David from Daniel Jewelry Inc., very, very happy to have these gentlemen on the channel. Reach out in the comments and let me know, is there anyone you guys would like to see on the channel interviewed? Let me know in the comments. I'm doing my, my very best. There are a couple of people out there who've politely declined as of now, but it wasn't it wasn't a complete no, so maybe in the future when they're less busy, we can get them on the channel. But let me know, guys. What do you think about this? Do you like silver? Is it something that you don't mind working with, having in your life? It is a fantastic, strong, durable, and valuable metal that is a lot more affordable and at the same time just as beautiful in its own right as gold. Let me know in the comments. Be safe. Talk soon. Catch you all at the next video.